Guys, Mr. Average Hockey Fan here again. Like and subscribe to my page. You can find me at Scotty2Hockey on YouTube. And today I would like to talk about power play potential guys, potential power play guys Montreal could bring in, guys to help their power play. Uh, I looked at guys that had goals on this list. I wasn't looking for the power play points leaders. I wasn't going for unrealistic pickups like Nikita Kucherov and Johnny Goudreau and these guys. I was looking for guys that I think Montreal could realistically bring in as rentals. One or two of them they may want to extend and could definitely help the power play. Every single one of them is top 15 in power play goals. The very first guy I have on the list is a guy who plays for the team we're playing right now at this moment. The Habs are playing right now at this moment. I have the TV off to this out of me going. So I'm going to have to try and get through this video kind of hastily. Sorry, guys. But uh, I don't want to miss this game. It, it puck drops in like five minutes. Go, Habs. Go, baby. But the first guy I'd like to mention is Carl Palmieri from the New Jersey Devils. He's their leading scorer. Yes, he's their leading scorer, but New Jersey isn't a playoff team. Their team is trending in the right direction, and I feel they'd like to bring in new players, possibly, if not rebuild, retool, and get some good picks and bring in some new younger players. I don't know if they would be shopping Palmieri, but I feel if the right offer was made, we could get them. And teams like that are desperate, so they'll make the moves that they have to. I'm not 100% sure if this is a realistic guy Montreal could get, but if they could, God, would he ever help. Put him in, their, uh, with, in our Mia spot. Move Armia down to the second power play unit where Houdan is currently uh, slotted as the second power play unit right hand shot guy. Put Armia there and uh, have, uh, what's his name, Paul Mary as in with uh, Kakanyemi, Tatar, Druan, and Weber. I feel uh, Paul Mary is a guy that can finish in front of the net. Druan doesn't have to always pass it over to Weber, doesn't always have to pass it to Tatar and get it passed back. There's too many playmakers. Kakanyemi's more of a playmaker than a shooter. He doesn't seem like the guy that wants to shoot on the power play. Tatar will shoot, but he seems to be a bit too creative, tries to do a bit too much, and Druan is just, it does way too much, makes lazy back passes. He needs a guy that when he does pass it to him, they're going to rifle in the net or going to try to at least, and a guy that's going to be in the right spots, because I love our me on the penalty kill, but he just doesn't seem to be an offensive threat on the power play at all. So yeah, Kyle Palmieri, and uh, some of his stats this year, uh, Palmieri actually has, in 50 games played, he has 23 goals, 16 assists, 39 points, he's a minus one, but on the power play, he has nine goals, he's top ten in power play goals, he only has five power play assists, but like I said, I'm not looking for guys to create on the power play, I'm looking for guys to score, to get to their spot, have the puck get to them, and come in and score a goal. If they have to create, I'm sure they can, but I'm looking for guys who are proven scorers this year in the league that can play in this league, and uh, really, really help this abysmal power play Montreal has got going. They've been dead last in the league for a while now, and it just looks worse and worse. It's killing them in games. It's sucking the energy out of games. Power play is supposed to help you. It's not helping them at all. His cap hit is $4.65 million. Uh, notable mention, he's a right-handed shot, so he'd be a good right-handed shot. He's a cap hit's $4.65 million. He's due for a raise at the end of the year. He's an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year, but I think Montreal could possibly extend him. He's a guy, I don't, judging by his numbers, I don't see him getting over $7 million. I think if Montreal get him for $6 million, he could be a long-term hab. Or even just sign him on a short-term deal. But he is a guy who you could keep around. And he would so much help that unit for sure. The second guy I got. Little, he would be a lot harder to get. But St. Louis has been talking about moving him for years. St. Louis is a team that is up and down. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. And if they start going in the wrong direction in these next few games. I could see Montreal steal him. They would have to give up that first round pick. Uh, I wouldn't want to see him give a prospect. But a first round pick and a roster player. And maybe... Uh, Maybe, maybe a guy like Noah Jolson, if his career isn't over, like I'm hearing, I don't believe that for a second. I heard he had nerve damage in the face. But something like that, to bring in Vladimir Tarasenko. And I think St. Louis would uh, would let him go if they're not going to go on a playoff run. And he wants out of St. Louis anyways. I'd say I don't see him re-signing in St. Louis. I haven't heard he wants out of St. Louis, but he's not having a good year in St. Louis this year. And the team is brutal this year, and it did make the playoffs last year. If he wants to win at all, he probably wants out. He's a guy who's played in the East for a lot, or played in the West for a long time, so the East would be totally more suited to him. Instead of playing bigger, stronger, uh, harder skating teams, he'd be in a faster, more fast-paced, goal-scoring, uh, just more skilled. It seems Eastern Conference seems to be more fast-paced, more skilled, and that would suit him, That, in my personal opinion. Vladimir Tarasenko, his cap hit is a little bit, his cap hit 7.5 mil, but the Habs, I'm almost certain, had the cap space to bring him in. He would be a rental. He's an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year. 
His numbers are 48 games played, 17 goals, so he's okay in goals, only 15 assists, 32 points. That's not great by Tarasenko standards, by no means, even the goals, but his power play goals are good. Almost half his goals are power play goals. He has eight power play goals, five power play assists. Uh, he shoots left, so he has eight power play goals. He's in the top 15 power play goals, and I feel in Montreal, a new look for him would be great. I feel in Eastern Conference playing against teams like Toronto and not having to constantly play against the Winnipegs and Nashvilles and even like top line heavy teams like Colorado where you're just, your lines always match up against them and you're just not looking good against them. I feel a fresh look in Montreal would help so much and I feel he would be such a threat on the power play. Him and Drew Wan seems like guys that would be a good combo because it's the ultimate playmaker like a guy that's just Constantly dipsy doodling, making decent passes when he wants to. Drouin needs to stop those stupid lazy back passes, but when he wants to go, he makes some cr very creative passes. I remember the one pass he made to Kakanyemi this year where he deked out like three players, perfect tape to tape pass through like three players in traffic, and Kakanyemi rifled the top corner. So Drouin is an ultimate playmaker that way, and Tarasenko is an ultimate finisher. He is one of the best finishers in the league. May not be showing it as much this year. But anybody who's ever watched Bar Vladimir Tarasenko play, he's a real, real threat on the power play and a real, real goal-scoring threat, which is what Montreal needs. They don't need to bring in a playmaker. They don't need to bring in another quarterback. They need a guy, a pure goal scorer on that power play. And last but not least, this is a guy I think we could get because New York Rangers are pretty much putting everybody out there. They seem to be a rebuilding team. They're not a playoff team. I don't think they're anywhere close to the playoffs. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. And uh, there's a couple of guys out there that they've been shopping. I'm not 100% sure if they're shopping this guy, but he would help Montreal's power play so much. A lot of Habs fans don't like him, but in Montreal, you'd love him on your team. Mika Sabatijad. He is a really good power play pl player, and he's a good goal-scoring threat on the power play. And unlike Tarasenko and uh, Palmieri, it's a bad chance to threat both ways. He's a playmaker and a goal scorer. His numbers show it for sure, and he's also top 15 in goals this year. In, 50 in top 15 in power play goals, excuse me, in 50 games played, he has 20 goals, 28 assists, 48 points. So he has more points than Domi. He's a minus eight, but it's only because he's on a horrible team in New York that gives up a lot of goals against. I'm sure it isn't his fault. Don't watch all the New York games, but anybody could be a minus on New York. They're not a very good team. Uh, he has eight power play goals, 10 power play assists. He's definitely a goal scoring threat in a power play with eight power play goals. I don't know how good New York's power play is, but it, I don't think it's great by no means because I haven't heard much of it the year. But I've heard a lot about Sabana Jad, and he seems to be great. I went and looked at his highlight reel to check out his power play goals, and they're beauties. He's a real, real threat on the power play, and he's a guy that you could slot in, like I said, in Armia's spot. Same with Tarasenko. We've had Armia's great on the penalty kill, but he's not an offensive threat on the power play. You can just see it. Uh, when he gets the puck, his decision-making with the puck when it comes to shooting and getting it off his stick quick isn't that great. And he just doesn't have the shot to be the number one power play guy, the guy the go besides Weber, the go-to guy for scoring goals. That's who I mean, he's supposed to be on our power play. At least that's what it seems like to me. And uh, he just isn't doing it. So I'd like to see Tarasenko, Palmieri, or Zabadajad in that spot. Those would be great guys. And the reason why I'm saying these guys, because all the other guys I looked at just didn't seem realistic. They either had too much term. They were locked up where they were too. There were contracts no team was going to take, like Patrick Kane. And uh, there were just guys that I just didn't see a chance once y'all getting these guys. Maybe a little bit unrealistic for Tarasenko, but if there is a chance, there, this isn't the... These are guys Bergevin is probably looking at right now, especially as a bad jazz. I don't, if he's not, there's something wrong with him because this power play needs so much help. Uh, his cap hit's only 5.35 mil, so if you took him on as a rental, you'd get him for, that's not bad at all, under 6 mil. The Habs definitely have the cap space for that. I don't think you'd be extending him because he definitely deserves a raise. Got with 48 points already on a very bad team like New York. I don't think he's going to get a raise. I don't think he's going to get extended because he's probably going to want, like, over six mil, around six mil, and he seems like the type of guy that deserves it because he's been a, a mainstay in New York. Every time I hear about New York, I hear about Zuccarello and Zabadajad, those guys. Those are names that stick out to me when I think about the New York Rangers, and I think he would so help Montreal's power play, and he's a UFA at the end of the year. So anyways, guys, the game has started. I'm here keeping peeking out of the side of my eye. It's 0-0, zero zero, currently two games in for Montreal. Uh, let's go, Habs. Let's see him win. Sorry about this video being a bit rushed, but I didn't want to miss this game. But I also wanted to make this video while I had the thought in my head and while I took down these few numbers. These are some guys that can help the Habs. These are my potential trades you could bring in, potential players you could bring in to bolster our power play. 
Hopefully you agree with me. If you have better names or guys you think of who could better, who would suit better on the power play, uh, let me know for sure. These are the guys who I was looking at goals-wise Montreal could realistically get, who I could see playing for Montreal. Tarzanko is a bit of a stretch, I know. Maybe it's just me dreaming, who knows. But yeah, that's my video on trades that Montreal could bring in to help their power play. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for the view. Feel free to leave a comment. God, Mr. Over, Mr. Average Hockey Fan here, over and out. Have a great day. Go Habs, go.